Mo extrude is a deformer that extrudes the polygons of an object. You can find it in the Mo graph menu under Mo, Mo extrude. Make it a child of the torus. You'll notice that if you go to the transform tab, that the uh, position in the z direction is set to five, which means that's the amount of the extrusion, and the scale is less than one. That means that with each extrusion, the size of the polygons is reduced. So if you uh, increase the amount of extrusion to 20, this is what happens. And in the object tab, you can choose which polygons to be extruded by adding a polygon selection tag here. You create the polygon selection tag by right clicking on the object, going to other tags and polygon selection. In the fields, a tab of the polygon selection, you have to add the, a field. Let's add a spherical field. And pull it out to the side. But first we have to add the tag into the polygon uh, selection option. You'll see that if you move the uh, spherical field that different polygons are extruded. You can also uh, if you select the Mo extrude, you can also select the shape of the extrusion by adding a spline into the sweep spline option. You can add the arc, select the Mo extrude again, add the arc, and if you select the arc, you can reduce the size of the arc, where it starts and where it uh, ends. But a better option is to add a Mo spline, where you can uh, change the bendiness of the of this spline. So let's delete the arc and add a Mo spline. Select the Mo extrude, add the Mo spline into the sweep spline. Select the Mo spline again, go to the simple tab and you can change where the curviness of the of the spline. You can also uh, add the uh, increase the smoothness of the of the extrusion by going to the Mo extrude and changing the extrusion steps and this applies to the whole to the whole spline to the whole extrusion that's because the transform mode is set to from root if you set it to per step it will make it even uh, larger so and keep it to from root you can also add effectors on the mo extrude so to go to effectors select the step effector choose the mo extrude in the effectors tab add the step effector now select the step effector and in the scale option reduce the scale option to less than one and this is what happens you can also add uh, since uh, the spline is most spline it reacts to forces you can also add forces in the simulate uh, menu you choose turbulence now if you play the animation, you'll see that the turbulence is happening, the changing in uh, the size of the spline is happening, but this is too fast, so increase the scale of the turbulence, and now if you go back to the beginning, this is what you'll get. And that's the Mo Extrude.